my skin looks absolutely disgusting hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be doing a testing out video and it's going to be pound shop makeup i'm not going to lie i am nervous because i've been breaking out quite a lot recently look, look at that and i'm just worried that this might make my breakout even worse but i've been seeing these videos go around for quite a while now and i really wanted to test out pound shop makeup yeah let's get right into it okay so i went to the pound shop and i'm not messing about i got a whole bag of makeup and this bag is from the pound shop as well i am literally going to do a full face of makeup for you guys this silicone pebble makeup face blender so i'm really excited to try that out this is for cleaning your makeup brushes um so i'm going to give that a try because i usually just use soap and water to clean my brushes look they've got quite a lot of stuff they've got like an eyeshadow primer they've got concealer fendant foundation what i usually do first is my foundation oh my god this is their foundation and it says makeup gallery gorgeous flawless long lasting foundation true long lasting foundation with a flawless matte finish hmm matte is not my favorite kind of foundation but we're gonna try it out enriched with vitamin e and uva uvb filters for added protection also going to be using this silicone pebble to blend it out so that's a silicone pebble and i'm guessing you just use it like you would use a beauty blender i went for the shade in golden sand so i'm hoping that matches my skin tone also here they have like a little circle so you can see the foundation oh, i'm nervous i don't know why i'm nervous okay that shade is all right i've never used one of these before um i'm not loving it So, I don't know, it's a bit hard to blend into my skin, but I don't know if it's because I'm using this to apply it. It's just taking ages, but I will say that it's definitely buildable because literally I use the tiniest amount and that's not only going to do my full face, but probably my neck as well. But to blend it out with this, it's taking ages. Let me think of the colour. I think it's a little bit dark for my skin tone. But like my skin tone is really weird. Like in summertime, I'm literally this colour. In wintertime, I'm just a completely different colour. Um, it's a little bit orangey. Yeah, I'm not liking this to blend it out with. So I am going to be using... Um, the Real Techniques foundation brush and do it that way. Okay. What? It, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. You, I don't think you can, but it's turning red. This foundation is turning red. Why is it turning red? Oh, oh my god, it's oxidising and it's turning red. It's oxidizing into a red color. Oh my god. Oh my god. I look like I've got a really bad suntan. Oh my god. I don't think you can see it on camera. Let me try and put. Oh my god. Let me try and put the dimmer down. Can you see that? Can you see how red that's gone? Why is it going red, like an orangey red? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why am I an orange red colour? I want to take it off. I want to take it off my face. I want to take this off my face. Oh my god. Oh no, you're joking. It oxidised so quickly. At first it looked alright. 
and it was going good. I got a concealer, it says natural coverage and this is in natural beige. I can't believe how orange that's made me go. I actually don't think they had like any powder Well I'm not at my local one anyway So I'm not going to be able to set this concealer So yeah That's going to be fun God. Okay, I'm just gonna use a sponge to blend that out because it's quite hard to blend out with a brush. It is not that bad, it is creamy. Um I just wish that they had a powder to set it with because now my eyes are gonna crease like crazy. It's not bad, it's not a bad concealer considering it's only one pound. I don't really use eyeshadow primers. I just use just usually use concealer um, as a base. So I'm excited to use this. Or am I? It looks so white. Look how white that is. Why does it smell of glue? Okay, let's just go in. Um, watery. It's not very thick. But then again, it's a primer. I don't know. But I feel like if I go over this with a sponge now, it's just going to all go away. Maybe it's going to make the eyeshadow stick. But the pigments of the eyeshadow stick. Hmm. Okay. As you can see, like it's made it a lot lighter than this eye. I am gonna go in with some eyeshadow now. But it says at the back, this is this duo contains a blend of super soft powders with vitamin E, crease resistant by long lasting wear. Well, I need the crease resistant because you guys didn't have no powder. But I did get um, matte eyeshadows. So I've got the same sort of colours, so I'm going to go in with the matte first and then do the shimmer. So this might look like a hot mess. I'm really sorry if it does. I don't know what to do with it. I do not know what to do with it. Patchy. It's coming out so patchy. That's so bad. Look how patchy that is. God. There's like not much I can do with it because it's just so patchy. If I keep blending it, I'm going to be sitting here for hours and hours. Is this eyeliner? Yeah, okay. So this is eyeliner and this actually might go with it because it says that it's a navy blue, which I feel like will go with this eye can fall to actually get the pigment on there. So I actually picked up some liquid eyeliner also. Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Eyeliner developed in the UK, made in China. Um, it just says long lasting intense colour for bold and beautiful eyes. So this is what the eyeliner brush looks like. I haven't used one like this before so I'm just hoping this all goes well. Let's see. Ow, that went in my eye. I feel like I should do this off camera. I'm 
so shit with eyeliner. With eyeliner. Okay, so I feel like the eyeliner is quite good. Obviously, I've done it quite shit because I don't know how to do eyeliner. Matte black eyeliner. Um, it dries down quite quick as well. And also, because of the brush being quite thin, I find that it's easy to do like a nice thin flick at the end. I picked up an eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to do my brows quickly. That eyebrow pencil was not bad. Next, I have a matte bronzer. You're looking like an Oompa Loompa. Mm. Yeah, that just does not complement the foundation at all. It looks a little bit light, but we're just going to see what happens. This doesn't look very shimmery, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to try it out anyway. Um, I'm just going to apply it with my finger. This does not look like a highlighter at all. Oh. What is that? It's not really a highlighter. Just, it's like a powder. I don't know, I can see a little bit of shimmer in it. Well, I wouldn't call that a highlighter. No, let's stop that right now. That is not a highlight. Fail. Picked up a lip liner and I also got this intense colour and shine lip gloss. Oh, let's see how it goes on. I don't give a shit, I'll let it spill. I don't give a damn, I'll keep it real. Cause by now I hope you know the drill. I would never lie, young forever, I ain't never gonna that this color shows up because it looks quite pretty. In truth, the younger you stay, the closer you are to your roots. That's the reason I know I can teach you how to hit the skies, rise above them without getting high. But it's not bad, it's not bad for a pound shop lip gloss, but it is very, very sticky which I hate in a lip gloss they look like only half a lash though so I feel like it's just going to up these bits here a little bit and not really much anything else I don't think it has difference easy and quick to put on though I'm guessing that's because there's only half a lash so what are we thinking of this makeup look I've got to be honest I'm not feeling it or like I look like an oompa loompa and I just want it yeah I'm gonna go scrub my face I hope you guys will join me on my next video